Horizon. How many times did they read the question? Good. And how many seconds do you have? Okay. Now, how many seconds do you have to write your answer? All right. Now, if it's a long one, we'll give you a few extra seconds. We're not going to say we're giving you a few extra seconds, but we'll, we'll slow it down just a little. But I expect to see your pencil flying so fast, I worry about your lead breaking. Okay? If your lead does break, I will sharpen your pencil, and I have a few spares. All right? We're prepared this week. All right. Now, the union level, they're going to do a uniform inspection. So we're going to do a uniform inspection here to help you guys. But there's a rule. On the higher level, you're eliminated from your team if your uniforms are not proper. I'm not going to eliminate anybody today. This is just to help you guys to get ready for moving on. So Mountaineers and Horizons, fall in. All right, just make two rows right here. You're like two units, the Mountaineer unit and the Horizon unit. All right. So we're going to start at this end. Yes, you have to have the belt. Uh, all right. Now, our Pathfinders is not about fashion. It's about being part of something. Okay? All right. So, we did that. We're going to do an opening prayer. And I think we should at least sing a song or two. If we have a pianist who can play for us, and maybe a few people who can lead out besides me, because my voice has been accused of being a fire alarm. All right. And then we will start the bowl. Oh, we need to do the Pledge of Conduct, too. So let us start off a prayer. I'm going to ask the pastor here to pray for us. Bondadoso Señor, Creador de todas las cosas. Queremos ponernos en tus divinas manos y pedirte que puedas dirigir a nuestros conquistadores para que aquello que han estudiado, Señor, hoy lo puedan recordar y que puedan ser jóvenes que se preparen, Señor, para que en un futuro tengan un escrito está 
ante la humanidad. En tus manos estamos, en Cristo Jesús. Amen. All right. I'm going to need somebody to help lead out in the music here. Who here can sing? Just come running up here as fast as you can. I'm going to start pointing at people. He pointed at you. Come on. Come on. And Jocelyn can sing. Oh, Jocelyn is here. Wow. Come on, Jocelyn. Come on. Karen's here. Good. Come on up here, you people. You've been named. Let's sing a song we all know. Let's start with something. Come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. Guys, have any suggestions? <laughs> no? No? <laughs> Which one's that one? <laughs> Lord, I live. I lift your name on high, Lord, I love to sing your praises, I'm so glad you're in my life, I'm so glad you came to save us, you came from heaven to earth, to the shore. your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My
Amen. All right, thank you, young ladies, for that. All right, let us do the Pledge of Conduct, and we're just going to jump right into this thing. So remember, nobody sitting in the third pew near the kids? All right, Pathfinders, attention. We'll put a hand up just like we do in any other pledge. All right. You ready? I pledge to not cheat and to conduct myself as a good Christian should. I will not look at the other side's answers and I will not be a sore loser. Excellent. All right, have a seat there. All right. Remember, when you get to be area coordinator, you can make up your own pledges, too. Okay. We do have some people sitting in the third pew over here. Can I ask you guys to move out of it? And any extra people in the first or second pew who isn't part of it, the event? So, like, you... And you, he's part of it, he gets to stay, but he's going to help you? Okay, we'll let him stay then. All right. Good. All righty. Pastor Sheldon's going to read the questions. Remember to mark on your sheets, if you're a Horizon or Mountaineer, if you guys protested the same question, we'd hate for it to get up here and go back switched, especially if you had the right answer and you ended up the wrong one back. That'd be embarrassing. Okay? You ready? All right. All right. Good evening, everyone. And we're going to begin our uh, Bible Bowl experience with question number one. Question number one is worth one point. Uh, if, if there are no other indications, our questions are worth one point. Okay, so we'll begin with question number one. According to Acts 16, verse 6, where were Paul and his companions forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word? That's according to Acts 16, verse 6. Where were Paul and his companions forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word? Time. Okay, so the answer to that question is So go forward. Okay, so the answer is Asia. If you got that correct, it's worth one point. <clears throat> okay, question number two. Yes, so the runner goes up. So Kusi can be the runner for here. And uh, Daniel, be the runner for this side. Oh, he's... One is good? Okay, so you can stay here. Okay, question number two. According to Acts 16, verse 31, what did Paul and Silas tell the jailer he needed to do to be saved? Be specific. That... Three seconds. Time. Okay, and the answer to that question is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, 
Question number three. And this is worth two points. According to 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 4, what two things did Paul and his friends boast the Thessalonians have in their persecutions and tribulations? That's according to 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 4, what two things did Paul and his friends boast the Thessalonians have in their persecutions and tribulations? Three seconds. Time. Okay, and the answer to question number three is patience and faith. Two points. Okay, question number four. <clears throat> three points. According to 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 3, what did Paul's exhortation not come from? That's according to 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 3. What did Paul's exhortation not come from? Exhortation means his uh, encouragement, what he was telling them not to do. Three seconds. Time. Okay. And the answer to that question is error, uncleanness, or deceit. Okay, question number five. This is worth three points. According to the SDA Bible Commentary, page 113, of the twelve, what three disciples play a leading part in the narrative of Acts? And this is worth three points. So according to the SDA Bible Commentary, page 113, of the 12, three seconds. what three disciples play a leading part in the narrative of Acts? Time. So, so we have to do it after I read it the second time. Yeah, and then. No, we're reading it twice every time. Sorry. Okay. Sure. Gotcha. All right, so we'll call time on this one. <clears throat> the answer to that question is Peter, James, and John. Okay, question number six. Two points. According to Acts 8 verse 14, when the apostles heard that Samaria read the, received the word of God, whom did they send? That's according to Acts 8 verse 14. When the apostles heard that Samaria received the word of God, whom did they send? Three seconds. Time. Okay, the answer to that question is they sent Peter and John. Okay. Question number seven. According to Acts 15 verse 8, how did God acknowledge them, that's the Gentile believers? According to Acts 15 verse 8, how did God acknowledge them, the Gentile believers? Three seconds. Time. Okay, the answer to question number seven is God acknowledged the Gentile believers by giving them the Holy Spirit. Okay, question number eight. According to Acts 13 verse 19, true or false, God destroyed nine nations in the land of Canaan. According to Acts 13 verse 19, true or false, God destroyed nine nations in the land of Canaan. Three seconds. Time. OK, 
Okay, so the answer to that question is false. He destroyed seven nations. Okay, question number nine. According to 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 4, what did Paul boast about among the churches of God? According to 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 4, who did Paul boast about among the churches of God? Three seconds. Time. And the answer to question number nine is the Thessalonians. Okay, question number 10. According to Acts 1 verse 2, what did Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, give to the apostles? That's according to Acts 1 verse 2, what did Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, give to the apostles? Three seconds. Time. The answer to question number 10 is he gave them commandments. So question number 11. This is worth two points. According to Acts 14 verse 11, when the disciples spoke in Iconium at the synagogue of the Jews, who believed? Two points. According to Acts 14 verse 11, when the disciples spoke in Iconium at the synagogue of the Jews, who believed? Three seconds. Time. The answer to that question is both Jews and Greeks. If it says Gentiles, that should be the same thing too. Runner. <clears throat> question number 12. <clears throat> According to Acts 3 verse 5, what did the lame man give to Peter and John? That's according to Acts 3 verse 5. What did the lame man give to Peter and John? Three seconds. Time. Okay, the answer to question number 12 is he gave them his attention. I know we have your attention now, so we'll move on to question number 13. <clears throat> According to the Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, page 223, what is the title of First Thessalonians according to the earliest Greek manuscripts in English? Be specific. That's according to the SDA Bible Commentary, page 223. What is the title of the epistle 1 Thessalonians according to the earliest Greek manuscripts in English? Be specific. Three seconds. Time. Okay, the answer to question number 13 is to the Corinthians. To the Thessalonians. It should be A, not 1. It's 1? Okay. Okay, I'm thinking Greek. I apologize. Let's move on to question number 14. According to Acts 8 verse 5, where did Philip go and preach Christ? That's according to Acts 8 verse 5, where did Philip go and preach Christ? Oh, 
with three seconds. Time. The answer to that is Samaria. City of Samaria. Yeah, I wasn't too sure. Okay, question number fifth. Question number fifteen. According to Acts seventeen verse ten, where did the brethren send Paul and Silas? According to Acts seventeen verse ten, where did the brethren send Paul and Silas? Three seconds. Time. The answer is to Berea. Okay. Question number 16. Two points. According to 1 Thessalonians 3 verse 10, what two things did Paul pray exceedingly for? That's two points according to 1 Thessalonians 3 verse 10. What two things did Paul pray exceedingly for? Three seconds. Time. The answer to question number 16, Paul prayed exceedingly to see their face and to also perfect what was lacking in their faith. Faith. So see their face and to perfect what is lacking in their faith. We have a challenge over here. Mr. Runner. Wake up, oh Mr. Runner. Okay, question number 17. According to Acts 3 verse 22, who said, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brethren? According to Acts 3 verse 22, who said, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your brethren? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is Moses. Okay, question number 18. According to Acts 2 verse 41, who were baptized on the day Peter gave his sermon? That's according to Acts 2 verse 41, who were baptized on the day Peter gave his sermon? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is those who gladly received his word. Question number 19. Two points. According to Acts 6, verse 8, what did Stephen do among the people? Two points. According to Acts 6, verse 8, what did Stephen do among the people? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is, did great wonders and signs. If you're challenging, we have a challenge over here. Runner? Okay. Question number 20. According to the Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, page 261, what is the title of the epistle Second Thessalonians according to the earliest Greek manuscripts in English? Be specific. According to the SDA Bible Commentary, page 261, 
What is the title of the epistle Second Thessalonians according to the earliest Greek manuscripts in English? Be specific. Three seconds. Time. And the answer is to the Corinthians 2. Keep saying Corinthians, Thessalonians 2. I apologize. I'm thinking of a different book. Question 21. Challenge. Okay. <coughs> Runner. Okay, question number 21. According to Acts 13, verse 7, what kind of man was Sergius Paulus? According to Acts 13, verse 7, what kind of man was Sergius Paulus? Shh. Three seconds. Time. And the, the answer is he was a, an intelligent man. If you have challenges, just raise your hand and we'll check it out. Okay, they're challenging also. So go get them. Question number 22. They're challenging too. Question number 22. According to Acts 9, verse 9, how long was Paul with Saul without sight? According to Acts 9, verse 9, how long was Saul without sight? Three seconds. Time. The answer is seven days, three days. <coughs> My chest, I'm sorry. Question number 23. Now we know why we don't do kids versus pastors. According to 1 Thessalonians 1 verse 9, from what did the Thessalonians turn when they turned to God? According to 1 Thessalonians 1 verse 9, from what did the Thessalonians turn when they turn to God. Three seconds. Time. They turn from idols, I believe. Yes. Question number 24. Challenge. Sorry. <clears throat> Question number 24. According to Acts 23, verse 16, who heard about the ambush and told Paul? According to Acts 23, verse 16, shh, who heard about the ambush and told Paul? Three seconds. Time. His sister's son, his nephew. Paul's sister's son or his nephew. There is no challenge for that question. Okay, question number 25. A pencil. You guys need a new pencil? You good? All right. Question 25, two points. According to Acts 9 verse 1, what was Saul still breathing against the disciples of the Lord? Two points. According to Acts 9 verse 1, what was Saul still breathing against the disciples of the Lord? Three 
30 seconds. Time. The answer is threats and murder. Okay, question number 26. Three points. According to first, there is a challenge here. You need to raise your hand. According to 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 12, who were the brethren urged to recognize? Three points. According to 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 12, who were the brethren urged to recognize? If you say half, you mean one. Three seconds. Time. We'll probably give you a few more seconds on this three-pointer if you need. Just a little longer. Not too much. All right, time's up. <laughs> and the answer is, those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and those who admonish you. Okay, question 27. Question 27. Two points. According to Acts 4 verse 18, they, Peter and John, were called back into the council and told not to do two things in the name of Jesus. What were those two things? Two points. According to Acts 4 verse 18, they, Peter and John, were called back into the council and told not to do two things in the name of Jesus. What were those two things? Three seconds. Time. The answer is not to teach nor to Speak or teach in the name of Jesus. Challenger to this side. Challenge on that side. And we're moving on to question number 28. We're going to ask central kids, you're too loud, so calm down. Okay, question number 28. According to Acts 24, verse 1, what was the name of the certain orator who came to the governor to give evidence against Paul? According to Acts 24, verse 1, what was the name of the certain orator who came to the governor to give evidence against Paul? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is, the orator's name was Tertullius. Tertullus. Okay, question number 29. According to Acts 28 verse 30, how long did Paul dwell in his own rented house? It's according to Acts 28, verse 30. How long did Paul dwell in his own rented house? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is two years. Dos años. Question number 30. If you said 24 months, you're still correct. Question number 30. According to the SDA Bible Commentary, page 115, Luke sees Christianity becoming largely what kind of religion? According to the SDA Bible Commentary, page 115, Luke sees Christianity becoming largely what kind of religion? <laughs> Three 
three seconds. Time. Gentile religion, I would say. Okay. Page. Okay. You're, you're challenging, no? Yes, they're challenging. Okay. Okay, question number 31. Moving on to question number 31. According to 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 8, how will the lawless one be consumed by the Lord? According to 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 8, how will the lawless one be consumed by the Lord? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is the breath of his mouth. And uh, moving on to question number 32. According to Acts 20 verse 9, Eutychus fell asleep during Paul's sermon and fell from what height? According to Acts 20 verse 9, Eutychus fell asleep during Paul's sermon and fell from what height? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is three stories high. Three stories high, third floor. Okay, question number 33. According to Acts 27 verse 14, what was the tempestuous headwind called which arose? According to Acts 27 verse 14, what was the tempestuous headwind called which arose? Three seconds. Time. The name of it was Euroclidon. Or Northeasterner. Do you have an Okay. All right, question number thirty four. According to Second Thessalonians two verse nine, what is according to the workings of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders? According to Second Thessalonians two verse nine, what is according to the workings of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is the coming of the lawless one. Okay, question number 35. According to Acts 26 verse 32, Agrippa told Festus Paul might have been set free if he had not done something. What did Paul do? According to Acts 26 verse 32, Agrippa told Festus Paul might have been set free if he had not done something. What did Paul do? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is appeal to Caesar. 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 Question number 36. We are 14 questions away from the halfway mark. Yes. According to 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 3, from what were the Thessalonians to abstain? According to 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 3, from what were the Thessalonians to abstain? Three seconds. <laughs> Time. 
And the answer is sexual immorality. I think fornication is another word there. Oh, there it is in Spanish. Question number 37. Two points, and this is a fill in the blank. According to Acts 3 verse 4, complete the following. When asked for alms, Peter said to the layman, blank at blank. Two points. According to Acts 3 verse 4, complete the following. When asked for alms, Peter said to the layman, blank at blank. Answer, money. Sorry. Three seconds. <laughs> Time. Look at us. Peter said to the layman, look at us. Not silver balloon. Okay, question number 38. According to Acts 27 verse 37, true or false, there were 276 persons on the ship in the storm. According to Acts 27 verse 37, true or false, there were 276 persons on the ship in the storm. Three seconds. Time. Answer is either true or false, so it must be true. There you have it. <laughs> and you can't challenge that question, so we're moving on to 39. According to Acts 7 verse 29, where did Moses flee and become a dweller? According to Acts 7 verse 29, where did Moses flee and become a dweller? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is, I say Midian. Okay, land of Midian. <laughs> okay. Question number 40. According to the SDA Bible Commentary, page 223, when was Paul's first contact with Thessalonica? According to the Seventh Day Adventist Bible Commentary, page 223, when was Paul's first contact with Thessalonica? Three seconds. Time. And it would have to be. Second missionary journey. <coughs> and if you ask us to the year, we don't know. Offhand. Okay. Question 41. According to Acts 23 verse 12, some of the Jews banded together and said they would not eat or drink until they had done something. What was it? According to Acts 23 verse 12, some of the Jews banded together and said they would not eat or drink until they had done something. What was it? <coughs> Three seconds. Time. And the answer is kill Paul. A Pablo. Okay, question number 42. According to 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 7, to whom did Paul compare himself while among the Thessalonians? According to 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 7, to whom did Paul compare himself while among the Thessalonians? Three seconds. 
time. And the answer is a nursing mother. And I know most of us. Uh, question number 43. We're breaking at 50, right? We're stopping at 45? Okay. Two points. According to Acts 17, verse 13, when the Jews from Thessalonica learned Paul was preaching the word of God in Berea, what did they do? Two points. According to, first, according to Acts 17, verse 13, when the Jews from Thessalonica learned Paul was preaching the word of God in Berea, what did they do? Three seconds. Time. They came and stirred up the crowds. <clears throat> question number 44, after which we'll have question number 45 and then we'll break. According to 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 15, what were the Thessalonians told to stand fast and hold? According to 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 15, what were the Thessalonians told to stand fast and hold? Three seconds. <laughs> Time. And they were told to hold on to the traditions which they were taught or received. Last question for this segment. Three points. <laughs> uh, it was not an earthquake. It's just <laughs> basic stuff, guys. You can put it on the ground easily if you want to. Okay. Thank you. Three points. According to Acts 11 verse 19, how far did those who were scattered after the persecution over Stephen traveled? Travel, preaching the word. According to Acts 11 verse 19, how far did those who were scattered after the persecution over Stephen travel, preaching the word? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch. And we will be breaking uh, for 10 minutes. If you need to drink some water or something. All right. You guys, remember also at this mo time, you can switch out your alternate if you feel you need to. Okay, we're starting in 30 seconds. So could the teams please have their seats? The coaches? 20 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> 
time. Okay, welcome back. Thank you very much for being central, central kids. We have, we have restarted. Thank you very much for getting back to the second half. We have 45 questions to uh, complete for the second half, after which we'll have a short uh, break and then we'll announce uh, the results for our second round Bible Bowl experience. Are you ready? Both teams are ready? Okay, we will start with question number 46. Question number 46. According to Acts 9 verse 3, as he saw journeyed, he came near Damascus. What suddenly happened? According to Acts 9 verse 3, as he saw journeyed, he came near Damascus. What suddenly happened? Three seconds. Time. Okay, the answer is a light shone around him from heaven. Okay, question number 47. According to 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 2, what will come as a thief in the night? According to 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 2, what will come as a thief in the night? Three seconds. Okay. Time. The answer is the day of the Lord. Question number 48. According to Acts 6 verse 15, how did all those in the council see Stephen's face? According to Acts 6 verse 15, how did all those in the council see Stephen's face? Three seconds. Time. The answer is as the face of an angel. Question number 49. Two points, according to Acts 11 verse 12, complete the following. And the Spirit told me to go with them, blank, blank. Two points, according to Acts 11 verse 12, complete the following. And the Spirit told me to go with them, blank, blank. Three seconds. Time. And the answer is without question and doubting nothing, no vacillating. Challenge over here. <clears throat> question number 50. No challenge? Okay. Question number 50. According to the SDA Bible Commentary, page 262, what caused the feverish, fanatical spirit of unrest among the members of Thessalonica? According to the SDA Bible Commentary, page 262, what caused the feverish, fanatical spirit of unrest among the members at Thessalonica? What word are you looking to? Feverish... What caused them to be in unrest, to, to be disturbed? What caused the Thessalonians to be disturbed? Six, three seconds. Time. The answer is 
Lord's about to come in the Lord. Feeling that the Lord's advent was about to take place. Okay, question number 51. Two points. According to Acts 28, verse 15, where did the brethren come to meet Paul? Two points. According to tw Acts 28, verse 15, where did the brethren come to meet Paul? Three seconds. Time. I think they came to meet him at API Forum and three inns, or three taverns. Okay, question number 52. According to Acts 8, verse 7, what came out of many who were possessed? According to Acts 8, verse 7, what came out of many who were possessed? Three seconds. Time. The answer is unclean spirits. Question number 53. Three points. According to 1 Thessalonians 1 verse 3, what three things did Paul and his friends remember without ceasing about the Thessalonians? Three points. According to 1 Thessalonians 1 verse 3, what three things did Paul and his friends remember without ceasing about the Thessalonians? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is their work of faith, their labor of love, and their patience of hope. Okay, question number 54. Do we have a challenge over here? Okay, good. Sorry. Question number 54. According to Acts 18, verse 7, whose house was next door to the synagogue? According to Acts 18, verse 7, whose house was next door to the synagogue? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is justice. Question number 55. <clears throat> Three points. According to 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 11, what three things did Paul do for the Thessalonians? According to 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 11, what three things did Paul do for the Thessalonians? Three seconds. Time. Okay. And the answer is he exhorted, he comforted, and he charged them. Okay. Question number 56. According to Acts chapter 21, verse 10, who was the prophet from Judea? According to Acts 21, verse 10, who was the prophet from Judea or Judah? Three seconds. Time. The answer is Agabus. Agabus. Question number 57. According to 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 3, what is the destruction, what is, what is the sudden destruction of those saying peace and 
safety likened to. Let me read that again. According to 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 3, what is the sudden destruction of those saying peace and safety likened to? Three seconds. Time. A woman in travail or labor pains. Okay, question number, you challenging them? Challenges over here, Mr. Runner. Okay, f f question number 58, fill in the blanks. According to Acts 5 verse 29, Fill in the blanks. We ought to blank, blank, rather than blank. According to Acts 5 verse 29, fill in the blanks. We ought to blank, blank, rather than blank. Three seconds. Three seconds. Time. And the answer is obey God rather than man, men. Okay, question number 59. Two points. According to Acts 14 verse 10, what did the crippled man do after Paul commanded him to stand up? Two points. According to Acts 14 verse 10, what did the crippled man do after Paul commanded him to stand up? Three seconds. Time. And the crippled man leaped and walked. Question number 60. Two points. According to the SDA Bible Commentary, page 114, Luke emphasizes how men of what two locations preach to non-Jews for the first time. Two points. According to the SDA Bible Commentary, page 114, Luke emphasizes how men of what two locations preach to non-Jews for the first time. Three seconds. Time. And the answer is Cyrene and Cyprus. Or Cyprus. Okay? Question number 61. According to Acts 4 verse 4, about how many of those who heard the word believed? According to Acts 4 verse 4, about how many of those who heard the word believed? Thank you. Three un seconds. You unplug the television. Time. And the answer is 5,000 men. Okay, question number 62. According to Acts 10, verse 1. I did. I said 5,000 men. Sorry. <laughs> uh, according to Acts 10, verse 1. In Caesarea was a centurion. What was his name? So according to Acts 10, verse 1. In Caesarea was a centurion. What was his name? Three seconds. Time. And his name was Cornelius. Question number 63. Two points.
according to Acts 18 verse 18, when Paul sailed for Syria, who accompanied him? Again, according to Acts 18 verse 18, when Paul sailed for Syria, who accompanied him? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is Priscilla and Aquila. <clears throat> Question number 64. According to Acts 1 verse 19, what is the English name for the field Judas purchased? That is, according to Acts 1 verse 19, what is the English name for the field Judas purchase? Or Spanish? Three seconds. El nombre en español. Time. And the name would be the field of blood. Campo de Sangre. But they give two. They, they give the Akel. The Sorry. Question number 65. Let me not say that. According to Acts 12, verse 19, after Herod searched for and could not find Peter, who did Herod examine and command that they be put to death? According to Acts 12, verse 19, after Herod served, searched for and could not find Peter, who did Herod examine and command that they be put to death? Three seconds. Time. The answer is the guards. Dun, 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 dun. Question number 66. According to 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 11, for what did Paul pray that God would count the Thessalonians worthy? According to 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 11, for what did Paul pray that God would count the Thessalonians worthy? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is this calling. Question number 67. Three points. According to Acts 9 verse 31, the churches throughout which areas had peace and were edified? According to Acts 9 verse 31, the churches throughout which areas had peace and were edified? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is Judea, Galilee, and Samaria. Okay, question number 68. According to Acts 21 verse 35, when Paul reached the stairs, why did he have to be carried by the soldiers? According to Acts 21 verse 35, when Paul reached the stairs, why did he have to be carried by the soldiers? Three seconds. Tiempo. Okay, the answer is because of the violence of the mob. Okay, question number 69. According to Acts 2 verse 13, 
What was one mocking answer to what came over the disciples on Pentecost and why they were able to speak in these languages? According to Acts 2 verse 13, what was one mocking answer to what came over the disciples on Pentecost and why they were able to speak in these languages? Three seconds. One point. Time. And the answer is they were drunk. They were filled with new wine. It's just one. What was one mocking answer? Okay. Challenge it, and then we'll we will do it. Okay. Question number seventy. According to Second Thessalonians three verse three, who is faithful? According to Second Thessalonians three verse three, who is faithful? According. Three seconds. Time. Answer is God is faithful or the Lord is faithful. Question number 71. Only 19 more to go. According to Acts 7 verse 4. Where did he, Abraham, move his father when he was dead? Be specific. According to Acts 7 verse 4, where did he, Abraham, move his father when he was dead? Be specific. Three seconds. Time. And the answer is this land in which you now dwell. Okay. Question number 72. According to Acts 8, verse 11, how long had he, Simon, astonished them, the people of Samaria, with his sorcery? According to Acts 8, verse 11, how long had he, Simon, Astonished them, the people of Samaria, with his sorcery. Three seconds. Time. And the answer is a long time. And another one over here. And another one over there. Question number 73. According to Acts 12 verse 20, who did the people of Tyre and Sidon make their friend? According to Acts 12 verse 20, who did the people of Tyre and Sidon make their friend? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is Bla Blastus, the king's personal aide. Okay, question number 74. True or false? The SDA Bible Commentary, page 113, states that the book of Acts is a full history of of the apostles. True or false? The SDA Bible Commentary, page 113, states that the book of Acts is a full history of the apostles. Three seconds. 
Time. Answer is false. It, it is not a full history. According to question number 75, according to 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 14, who will God bring with him? Be specific. According to 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 14, who will God bring with him? Be specific. Three seconds. Time. And the answer is those who sleep in Jesus. Page seven, question 76. According to Acts 10 verse 19, while Peter was thinking about the vision, the Spirit told him how many men were seeking him. According to Acts 10 verse 19, while Peter was thinking about the vision, the Spirit told him how many men were seeking him. Why don't you just give them a Three seconds. Time. And the answer is three. Okay, question number 77. According to Acts 19 verse 3, Paul asked some disciples in Ephesus, into what were you baptized? What was their response? According to Acts 19 verse 3, Paul asked some disciples in Ephesus, into what were you baptized? What was their response? Three seconds. Time. The answer is... John's baptism. Question number 78. Only 12 more to go. Two points. According to Acts 13 verse 4. Where did Barnabas and Saul go being sent out by the Holy Spirit? According to Acts 13 verse 4. Where did Barnabas and Saul go being sent out by the Holy Spirit? God bless you. Three seconds. Time. And the answer is Seleucia and Cyprus. Okay, question number 79. According to Acts 24, verse 27, who succeeded Felix? Be specific. According to Acts 24, verse 27, who succeeded Felix? Be specific. Who came, who ruled after Felix's reign was over? So who was the next ruler in line? Three seconds. Time. The answer is okay. Portius Festus. So if you say Festus, that's good. P Festus. Question number eighty. Ten more questions to go. Yes. According to Second Thessalonians three verse nine. Whose example were the Thessalonians admonished to follow? According to 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 9, whose example were the Thessalonians admonished or encouraged to follow? Three seconds. And the answer would be us, 
Paul and his partners. Example. Question number 81. According to the Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, page 224, when preaching, Paul appears to have been particularly successful with what group of people? According to the SDA Bible Commentary, page 224, when preaching, Paul appears to have been particularly successful with what group of people? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is the Greeks. I I would I would probably technically if the judges say yes, we say yes. All right. Question number eighty two. Can you believe it? According to Acts 22, verse 12 to 13, who told Saul, receive your sight? According to Acts 22, verse 12 through 13, who told Saul, receive your sight? Three seconds. Time. And the answer is Ananias, Brother Ananias. Okay, question number 83. Two points. According to Acts 15, verse 27, whom did the apostles and elders with the whole church send with Paul and Barnabas to Antioch? According to Acts 15, verse 27, whom did the apostles and elders with the whole church send with Paul and Barnabas to Antioch? Three seconds. Time. The answer is Judas and Silas. And we're going to move on to question 84. According to Acts 19 verse 24, what was the name of the silversmith? According to Acts 19 verse 24, what was the name of the silversmith? Shh. Three seconds. You're challenging? Time. The answer is his name was Demetrius. Question number 85. According to Acts 25, verse 22, what did Agrippa say to. F Sorry. According to Acts 25, verse 22, what did Agrippa say to Festus regarding Paul? According to Acts 25, verse 22, what did Agrippa say to Festus concerning Paul? Three seconds. Time. <laughs> he said, I want to hear the man myself. Okay, question number 86. Three points. According to Acts 25 verse 8, Paul answered that he had not offended against what or whom. According to Acts 25 verse 8, Paul answered that he had not offended against what or whom three 
three seconds. Time. Sorry. And the answer is the law of the Jews, the temple, nor Caesar. Which is the law of the Jews, the temple, or Caesar. Well, challenge. Three points. So we're looking at the three individual things. You guys need to challenge? You good? You're straight? All right. Question number 87. According to the Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, page 113, since ancient times, by what title has the book of Acts been known? Be specific. According to the Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, page 113, since ancient times, by what title has the book of Acts been known? Be specific. Three seconds. Time. The answer is Acts. The Acts of the Apostles? Since ancient times? And we unplugged the television again, so. You have to plug it in, but it's fine. I'll read it from here. Acts of the Apostles. Next question. Question number 88. According to Acts 2 verse 28, how did Paul get his Roman citizenship? According to Acts 22 verse 28, how did Paul get his Roman citizenship? Three seconds. Time. From birth. He was born a citizen. Okay. Question number 89. According to Acts 26 verse 25, Paul told Festus that he spoke what two kinds of words? According to Acts 26, verse 25, Paul told Festus that he spoke what two kinds of words? Three seconds. Time. Okay, so the answer is truth and reason. Okay, this is the last question. And this question should have been worth 90 points, just in case, but it's not. It's worth 8 points, which is close enough to 90. <laughs> According to Acts 3, verse 6, shh, we'll probably give you about 20 seconds to do this one. According to Acts 3 verse 6, complete the following. Peter said, blank and blank I do not have, but what I do have I give to you in the blank of blank blank of blank blank up and blank. According to Acts 3 verse 6, complete the following. Peter said, blank and blank I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the blank of blank, blank of blank, blank up and blank. Shh. Yes, it should be in order. The order is very important for this one. Okay, we'll give you extra time. So when 
I'll give you as much. No, we're not going to answer Time any is questions. unlimited. What do you mean? Shh, just write your answers. We'll sort it out afterwards. We can't give you any advice now. Shh. Okay, they're finished. We're giving you guys 10 more seconds. You guys are finished? Giving you paper. All right. So the answer is, Peter said, silver and gold I do not have. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And that brings us to the end of our Bible Bowl. Uh, shh, don't move, don't move, don't move. I do have a few things to say. We're going to be going into a pre-investigative judgment behind the scenes. And when we come out, you'll get our executive judgment. So we're going to ask you guys to just sit tight. Where are the young ladies who, who sang for us earlier this evening? Uh, they're hiding. Did they just duck? Okay. Do not hide. In silver and gold, we don't have to give you, but in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk up to the front and lead us in a few songs. Thank you very much. Shh. Shh. Guys, you can't be... Just relax. It's over. It's over. Huh? Well, they gave it to you wrong, right? You, you adjudicated and we said no, right? So live with it. Because that's life. Let it go. Usai. No. Everybody, please be seated. Everyone, please be seated. Now that we've done that experience, we're going to have another experience. And uh, we're going to ask the teams to just breathe. We, we want to congratulate our teams for studying very hard and for participating very hard. Remember, it's not, you're not going up against anybody. We're just doing the best we can to show how much we have learned the Bible. And I want to say a special thank you to the pastor of the Nuevo Esperanza Church, Pastor Calixto Ruiz for bringing over his congregation and his kids here. Thank you very much. We want to say thank you to uh, Dr. Poku and uh, to Mr. Denver Lodge from the Wasatch Hills Church for judging. Put your hands together for our judges. We want to say a special thank you to our timekeepers. Put your hands together for our timekeepers. Take a bow, timekeepers. They did a wonderful job, even when I messed up. I want to say thank you to those who know the difference between 1 Corinthians and Thessalonians. Amen. Thank you very much. And uh, to the coaches of both teams who are hard at work now, we say thank you to the coaches. And uh, will the teams please just stand, turn around, take a bow. Come on, stand up. T stand up, turn up. Guys, you have to practice your... One more time, one more time. Stand up together. So stand up together, turn around, take a bow. Guys, stand up together. Um, Central. Hello. Terry. Still to come. Turn around, take a bow. Thank you very much. You guys did a wonderful job. Whatever happens next... We love you. Okay, repeat after me. One, two. We love you. We love you. Amen. Thank you very much. Whoa. Daniel, that was mean, man. That was, that was really mean. So we're going to call up our young ladies again to uh, lead us out in a few songs. And uh, as soon as they're finished, we'll still continue in the spirit of worship when we make whatever announcements need to be made.
open the eyes. You guys know this. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, 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 holy.
joy is like a golden crown. Let us come together, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 A little bit faster. Let us come together, praise the name of Jesus. All the people from the earth come and see. Let us come together, praise the name of Jesus. All the people from the earth come and hear. Joy is like a sunshine that is raining from upon us. Joy is like a golden crown. Let us come together, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Are we finished? Okay, so now we are going to have the announcement. And uh, my heart is beating faster than usual. And uh, we just know whoever goes forward, we have a great representative from, from Nevada, Utah, to move on to the next uh, round. And we thank you all for coming this afternoon and uh, wish you God's blessing and Godspeed. Uh, Mr. Vernon. Okay, maybe we should, all right, now for the part none of you guys want to know about. Nobody wants to know anything about what I got to say, right? You guys don't want to know who won. We don't want to know when we have to go to Union for who's going. All right. I'm going to start with the Union one will be in Fresno Adventist Academy, April 6th, is what Paul texted me just a few minutes ago. He was supposed to be here, but he said something about stuck in the snow in Ogden. I don't know what he's talking about. All right. So that's what we got there. All right. I really can't build up much of the suspense. There's only two of you. All right. Somebody needs to complain to Vegas and Reno. They need to come to help my suspense. Okay. I'll just have to tell you guys straight up. Second place is the... Yeah, I can build a little suspense. The Mountaineers. <laughs> That's enough out of you guys. Oh, my. Come on, Mountaineers. Come up here. Don't mind them. Don't mind them. All right. Shh. Hey, guys. Remember we talked about being good winners and good losers? All right. All right, Mountaineers, here's your certificate. Make sure you hang it up in your church. All right. Oh, we have somebody to take a picture. We need a picture. Yeah, hold that right up there. All right. So right there, Pastor. All right. Have a, have a seat. All right. All right. 
Now, I can say that both team scores are quite a bit higher than three weeks ago. That tells me both teams studied hard. So I know next year we're not going to have it so easy for the Four Horizons. I know you guys studied hard, but they're not going to let you do this twice in a row. Right? Yeah. All right. So first place we have, which they, I think they already know, the Horizons. You're the team captain, you can hold it. Right. Scooch in a bit, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Sister Terry? <laughs> Come on, guys, scooch. You're all friends. All right. Now, I've been talked to Pastor Utuck. I talked to area coordinator. I forgot his name suddenly from Reno. And they have told me to tell you guys that next year, set, the whole Utah area isn't going to Union, that they are going to beat us. Okay? I responded they weren't even here. So, you know... I, I think we'll do just fine next year because we have two of the best teams in the conference. After all, we're here, they're not. Now, I know we're all excited. We've had a pretty long day, but nowhere near as long as last time. We're getting better at this. I'm going to our pastor. I'm going to ask sorry, our pastors here. One, two. All right, we're going to. Just have a quick thought for you guys, and then you guys can go slide your way home prayerfully. Not like a snowstorm to increase your prayer life. Say a word or two to them. Bueno, eh, quizá les quiero decir para, para nuestro equipo, ¿no? Eh, no se desanimen. Tenía que haber un ganador, lógicamente, y pues uno de ellos, qué bueno de todas maneras que tenemos un representante de, de Utah, ¿verdad? Así que esperemos en Dios que, que hagan buen trabajo. We hope, we, we pray for you make a good job. In, where is it? Yeah, representing in where is in Las Vegas. Oh, en Fresno, ok. We pray for, for you, ok. Gracias y démosle un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Thank you. Thank you. Ok, um, okay pray to Ok, let us pray. Father God, we just thank you for this opportunity once more to come together a group of churches and to celebrate our young people. Lord, their zeal for your word, their zeal to do excellently. And we just thank you for Nueva Esperanza and the ministry that they've done over the years, Lord. They have held up the standard for this, uh, the pathfinder in, in this area. And we pray continually for their leadership from Pastor Calixto Ruiz all the way down. Lord, we just ask that you'll bless them and uh, be with us as we leave from this place. May we have a safe journey home. We thank you for Central, uh, for our leader, uh, uh, Esau Vernon, and uh, for our Bible Bowl coach, Sister Terry Bryan, and for our many kids who have uh, studied long and hard. And we pray, Lord, that even as they've gotten to this point, give us the humility, Lord, to recognize that there is always further we can go, that there's always much more we can do. 
And so bless us, take us from this place, but never from your presence. It's my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We want to thank, thank New Ever Esperanza again for coming out and uh, for doing a great job. For doing a great job. So let's all put our hands together for the mountaineers. And as we can see, most of their Bible Bowl team are very young people. So our future is very, very secure. Amen? They did a great job. Um, most of them are my friends, except Daniel. Most of them are my friends. And uh, so I, I, I just really enjoy hanging out with them. And we pray for their prosperity. Amen? And congratulations to Central again. And we pray that uh, they, God will give them many more years of great, uh, great Bible Bowls. God bless you and have a wonderful evening. Amen.